No, I don't think no. so. Alexander hands it off again up the middle and crunching for a first down out to the 39 yard line. Hoffman now in motion goes left. Alexander can't decide what to do. Finally throws to the near side. Tamapeo, Tamapeo again. will be dropped short of the 50 yard line, but I think he's got enough for a first down. He Alexander takes the snap and hands off. Huge Big hole over the right side. Hoffman runs head on into Adkinagiri at the Bengal 25 yard line. A huge local girl has a kid, I believe, has a boy. Yeah. Williams kick is up easily long enough and it is good and the Vikings trail 20 to 3 with 14.53 left to go in period number two. He's have the ball first and 10 at their own 25 and Alexander wants to throw. He does to the near side. It's complete to Dagby and Dagby finally driven out of bounds near the 40 yard line for a Viking first down. He's thrown deep and he's completed them. A low snap. Alexander, with time, picks it up. Dancing, now rolls to his right with room. Pursued from behind, throws up the field. He's got Kelly at the 17. Kelly into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. No flags on the play. And the Vikings are on the board with their first TD strike of the game. And that was set up completely by Alexander, who bought time and found a hole. The coverage could not last forever by ISU. 61 yards. Just a nice play. Alexander to throw. He has it on the left side, complete to the tight end, Tamapeo. Nice catch. For a first down at the 36. That was your score at the half. Alexander, deep drop. Dancing, tight end, is, tight dancing. end is wide open and he doesn't see him. Still running around. Fires the ball complete. The running back inside the 20 and hit down around the 10 yard line. Another first down created by Alexander, the quarterback. Yep. Vikings have a first and goal. Inside the Bengal 10 yard line. Here we go. And down at about the one, the running back. Again, that is. Number 25, Sergio Hoffman gets an H back, tight end, and Hoffman dives over the left side for a touchdown with 11.03 to go. It took just under four minutes to put that scoring drive together for the Vikings as Hoffman gets the first rushing touchdown of the game for either team. Blocked. The kick is blocked and it will bounce and roll inside the you can pick that ball 15 up. yard line and the Bengals did pick it up, but the officials blew the play dead. Yeah, the Portland State, you can pick that ball up if you're Portland State, and the Portland State player was just standing there looking at it. So the block kick by the Vikings and Portland State. Not on the field. Alexander handing off, Hoffman wide left, the 30, 35, cuts it inside, out across the 40, loose ball, and who gets on top of it? I think the Vikings have recovered near midfield. Yard move up the field to the 48-yard line, or 23 yards, rather. Alexander dancing in the backfield, pumping once, twice, fires again, he's got Tamapeo, and he's down at the ISU 30-yard line for a Viking first down. Three I think that's the seventh catch of the day for Tamapeo. Again, Alexander, with all kinds of time, runs up the middle and gets inside the Bengal 25 to the 23. And eight, 48, Viking 17. Three minutes even to go. Davis Alexander checking off at the line. And a short snap. snap, he picks it up. He's at the 10, the five, he's in for a touchdown. Oh, and that's, oh wow, I thought, yeah, there's a late personal foul penalty on ISU. And now,